The five stages of grief um, supposedly came out of interviews that she did with actually dying people, terminally ill people, at Billings Hospital in Chicago. However, she hadn't, she didn't actually sit down and interview these people about the specific stages because she didn't conceive of the stages until after those interviews when she was actually commissioned to do her first book on death and dying was trying to come up with a sort of overarching framework for the book. It's also important to remember that the stages were originally the stages of dying and were really meant only to apply to one's own death, not to grieving the death of a loved one. After Kubler-Ross published on death and dying in 1969, she pretty much immediately left the subject of dying and started to look into other sort of more spiritual topics such as life after death. Um, she started to believe in spirits, that spirits could come back from the dead and talk to you. Uh, she opened up a healing and growth center out in California where people would come and, you know, conduct seances and get in touch with these spirits. Um, so she really, for, for, a, for a doctor, for a medical doctor, she took a very sort of unscientific detour into, I guess, the paranormal. While I've certainly experienced loss in my own life, uh, my interest in this book came out of a journalistic desire to make sense of a model that doesn't seem to be serving us particularly well. My goal was to really take a close look at uh, the theories of grief that have framed our experience and, and basically look at also what the social science had to say to see how it stood up against the real research. Um, so I did a comprehensive survey of all of the grief literature and also did a lot of on-the-ground reporting around the mental health professions that now sort of service the bereaved.